You may recall a little while back I did a little video um, shooting feral pigeons here in these barns. Well, uh, they were coming in and they were getting in underneath the roof in the barn just opposite the one I'm in at the moment. Now, uh, the farmer came along and he put some timber over the, uh, over the opening so they can't get into that bit of roof, but they've now started dropping in at the other end. They're very persistent, these pigeons. So um, I thought I'd come down here for a couple of hours this morning and just see if I could sort of discourage them a little bit. So I've got the uh, Brocock sniper here with me and uh, I've set it to the lowest power setting because we're only about 20 metres away from the corner of the roof where they land before they drop in. So I'm hoping I can just knock over one or two and stop them getting into that barn. Now, as you can probably see, they've had some work going on around the barns here. I've been doing some concreting and stuff and reflooring some of the, uh, some of the barn areas. And they've left this screen set up here. It makes for a brilliant little hide. And obviously the pigeons are used to seeing this now. But if I stand here, I can shoot through the opening and uh, hopefully knock over one or two as they land. I have to be very careful though because although the gun's turned down to the lowest power setting, it's still doing around about 33 foot pound I think, so um, it'll still damage that barn roof, so I need to be very careful of that and make sure that I only shoot them when they're on the top and I've got the open fields out behind. So it went a little bit quiet on the ferals there. I managed to knock down a couple, but after that, they uh, soon got wise to that, I think, and they've stopped dropping in there. So um, I've just walked around the back of one of the barns here, which backs onto the wood, and I'm just gonna have a little look here and uh, see if I'm finding any, um, any squirrels out in this wood. I have to shoot quite a lot in here, but uh, it's good just to keep on top of them. So I'm gonna have a little wander around, see if I find another one. Well, I literally walked about 10 yards from the barn and straight away I spotted a squirrel out just on the edge of the wood there. Now, um, I didn't have anything to lean on where I stood and I didn't want to move too much because I thought it might spook it. It was just sat there for a little while. So I literally just took a freehand shot of that and that was about 40... Actually, I can tell you how far it was. Uh, it was 39 yards, or metres I should say, so just over 40 yards. Um, and yeah, it's gone straight over in the bushes there, so I'll walk over and pick that one up. And uh, I'll have a little look around, see if there's any more out and about. So there's one or two squirrels moving around on the floor of this wood here and uh, I found myself quite a nice little branch to rest the rifle on and hopefully get a shot of one before too long. I just spotted that squirrel, thanks to the thermal imager. It was sat in a tree just up there in the via the uh, branches. Uh, he was uh, about 40 metres up there. And um, yeah, just sat there watching me, knew full well I was here. But it gave me all the time in the world just to rest against this tree and get a shot up through there. And uh, he just dropped straight down the bottom trunk of that tree. There we go, another squirrel. Again, smashed him hard with that 0.25 pellet. Another one down. 
Well, we've had a good morning this morning. We managed to knock down a couple of squirrels and a few feral pigeons with the Brocock Sniper. Um, you'll see I'm using the Element Helix scope on there, and this little gadget on the back here is a trigger cam, which is what I've been using to record the through the foot uh, through the scope footage um, this morning. And what I'm going to do is this evening I'm going to take this setup out um, after a few rabbits. I've got a little strip of. Uh, of hedgerow that's got quite a few rabbits um, on there that the farmers asked me to, to go and sort out. So I'll kit the Brocock sniper out with the um, Hick Micro Cheetah night vision add-on and we'll take it out and see if we knock over a couple of bones with it. This evening I am out after a few rabbits. I've got with me the Brocock Sniper yet again. I do like this little rifle. And um, I've been asked by the farmer to come and have a look at this little hedgerow in front of me here. And uh, he's asked me to just clear up a few of the rabbits along there. I came and had a look yesterday, there was probably about 20 rabbits out there. So there's a few there for a, a little bit of sport with the air rifle. So this is actually a really good location for shooting a few rabbits and I've also shot quite a few foxes from here before as well. Now before you think I've completely flipped my lid and lost the plot and bought a Sherman tank, no this is not an old rusty tank, this is in fact a water tower and uh, this is conveniently the inspection hatch and uh, there's a little ladder here which I'm sat on and this makes for an excellent little sniping position. Now the plan is to sit here until dusk and see if I can knock over one or two rabbits uh, just with the day scope at last light and then uh, once the light starts to fade I've got the Hick Micro Cheetah which I'm put on the front of the scope and hopefully knock over a few more and I can even have a little walk out there as well and uh, see if I can get some of the ones that are a little bit too far for the air rifle. So the first rabbit has already come out. It's about 150 metres down the fence line there. So too far for a shot with this, especially in this wind, as you can probably hear. There's about a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind, which is kind of coming down this way. Got about five rabbits out now. That's still a bit far. There's one actually a little bit closer. It's 107 metres, so still uh, a bit further than um, I want to push the brocock this evening. Ideally, I want them not much further than about 75 80 yards um, but we'll see hopefully get one or two come out a bit closer So I've managed to knock over a couple of closer ones that have come out, but the rest are all still staying a good sort of, I don't know, 100 yards or more um, down the bottom there, about 110 yards I think the closest one was, or metres I should say, from where I am at the moment. So I think I'm just going to walk along this hedgerow and have a look, see if I can get a bit closer and knock over a couple more. So I'm just going to hop these rabbits, which we do by just literally cutting a slot in the leg, which goes uh, between the tendon on the back here and the bone. And you cut a slot about an inch and a half long or so, push the other leg through like so, and then you can hook them over the fence posts or as I'm going to do here, I'm just going to put that through the fence. that hung there and that way no fox ring is going to get that and drag that off too easily. Right, let's uh, have a look for some more. Look 
dinosaurs were about that. Nice healthy looking bunnies. There's a few more out in the field that have, uh, have kind of come away from the hedgerow and I think they're just hunkering down so hopefully I'll be able to walk along here a little bit and shoot back out into the field. just goes to show what this rifle's capable of. There was two rabbits there, both pretty close to one another, both at about 75, 80 yards, and this thing just absolutely poleaxed them. That 0.25 bullet, pellet I should say, not bullet, it's acting like a bullet, but that 0.25 pellet is just smacking them so hard and just killing them instant. So uh, a good place shot with this, and um, that's it, they're, uh, they're brown bread. Right, well, I've had a pretty good evening this evening. Uh, there's another couple to add to the bag, so I'm going to walk up along the fence line here and um, pick up the rest of them. I've got another seven or eight, eight I think it is, along there. Um, so I walk along there and grab them, being sure to carry them all in the right direction. Yes, there is a wrong and a right way if you carry them that way with the bellies showing. That's like a warning beacon to any other rabbits as you're walking along. So uh, always carry them with the back fur facing the way you're walking. <laughs> right, well, I hope you've enjoyed the episode anyway and thanks for watching and please subscribe. If you aren't a member of BASC, it's time to join now. BASC, looking after your sport, looking after you.